Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. So, let's just get straight to it with our station. David Adelier and Fabio Wardley clashed at the first conference of um, Gano versus Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. It was a very intense um, uh, clash between both fighters and it's been confirmed that both are going to fight on the undercard of that event, that mega event. Despite Ngannou and the Fury fight not being a reboxing, reboxing match, at least we have a delay and Fabio Wardley. Fabio Wardley was caught wide open by a delay. The altercation and uh, basically the face off went in another dimension when Adele, of course, you know, basically unleashed damage on uh, Fabio Wardley. Uh, well, let's take a look at it right here and then break this down because Adele, no doubt, is a promising fighter. You know, 11 knockouts in 12 wins, bro. That is huge. Fabio Wally, on the other hand, is also another promising fighter. Despite not having a... Listen, he came from a very unusual background in boxing, like white-collar boxing, and then got into the real deal and has been doing a very good job ever since. I like Fabio Wally a lot. His style is impeccable. His, you know, his demeanor, his, his personality is very likable. The guy is a very cool, calm, collective guy. And he also has a side of him that, you know, when he goes mad, you know, when you make him mad, he literally will punish you. Now, let's uh, let's take a look at it right here and then uh, proceed. So, yes, Adele addressing, like, basically addressing a, a, an interviewer, like, being interviewed and stuff like that. And, Fabio Wardley was literally like next to him and both of them talking on the smack and then Adele really got you know got mad or something you know I don't know what he's trying to but it's part of promoting the fight but this went above what we expected from both fighters so Fabio Wardley got caught wide open basically this was but look at the team of Adele and the team of Fabio Wardley all like when I did like this was like you know this is one of those things that fighters does it's one of the it's part of the hype you know part of beauty fight but I think they shouldn't have used their hands you know like should have been any like physical you know physical altercation or something like that and maybe just talk to smack stuff like that but this fight is intriguing this fight is the fight for me this fight is the fight that on that card this fight is the fight because these are two promising fighters right here Adelaide being a British Nigerian uh, fighter of course I support him for that but Fabio Worley is someone I like and I cannot say oh I don't support her. I support both fighters I would say may the best man win but we're gonna break this down a little bit <laughs> all people swinging punchings and stuff like that where now let's go to their resume so Adele, as you can see right here 12 fights 12 wins 11 via knockouts and the people is fought you know he fought Demir Kasanovsky of course a little opponent Mark Gordon low level opponent Phil Williams low level opponent so let's say the biggest name on Adele's uh, resume is Kamil Sokolowski, whom of course 
is a journeyman but a very dangerous one okay but the guy he fought before fighting Amir Amatovich in uh, Dimitro Bezos that guy was undefeated okay so he basically has an unfair rec- on a fair file on his record his resume now we go to Fabio Wardley this guy right here despite coming from a ve- listen he doesn't listen he came he didn't co- he didn't come from a like a typical boxing background stuff like that he came from like a white collar he's a white collar fighter like he came into the scene as a white collar fighter and then i didn't believe he would do this well as a boxer as a reboxer you know but somehow he just he surprised me beyond my imagination i tell you right now so his first fight you know we know jacob like basically there's a you know fighters always have 10 in, in the fighters 10 first or five first fight all always have to be against low level opponent that's that's fast you build your you build yourself up but if you should look at fabio world is a big the biggest name of fabio world's record is eric molina okay Nathan Goma you might say yeah Nathan Goma is this the other but Nathan Goma was at some point a promising fighter undefeated he's got the skill but Eric Molina has achieved a lot more than uh, Nathan Goma and is more relevant okay he's fought listen Eric Molina we all know the guy this guy has fought great great fighters you know like I don't know the name the names on his resume prof even despite him losing still they are huge including Andrew Joshua's name being on the resume so now how does this fight play out Fabio Wardley is ranked 7th in the UK why um, David Adelaide is ranked 10th uh, in the UK so 59, 59th in the world and Fabio Wardley is the second best fighter in the world according to uh, Bostrick now uh, Fabio Worley, the age, we're 26, 28. Fabio Worley is two years older than Adelaide. And uh, height, 6'5 to 6'4 and a half. Fabio Worley has advantage there. You know, both are orthodox fighters. So basically, you know what to expect from both fighters. Okay. Uh, born in Ipswich, um, Suffolk, U- UK. And. Uh, Adelaide born in Ladbroke Grove, London. Now, if listen, judging from the high, just just uh, from judging from the high alone, okay. Adelaide, uh, uh, Fabio Wardley is looks more technically sound than Adelaide, but Adelaide is powerful. Basically, Adelaide is powerful because. He can hit you with one punch. He can catch you with something. What maybe with one of one of his is a uh, unpredict, unpredictable uh, left hooks. You don't see it coming, but if he catches you, you're gonna feel it. If you don't go down, you will get hurt. Fabio Wardley, we've seen him hurt before, no doubt. We've seen him hurt before against Richard Latte. He was basically like, you know, of course it be Richard Latte, but he struggled in that fight. And Richard Latte is not highly rated at all. But it, it can happen to a father that a father like tends to like, you know, not give their opponent credit when their opponent is not really at their level or they think so. But the journey of Fabio Worley is exciting. Um, this is going to be a great fight. I see a knockout in this fight. Like I said, keys to victory for Fabio Worley is to box don't trade with Adelaide because if you do that Adelaide would catch you you know both of those guys they fought each other before they are they are core enemies bro they fought each other before they've like they've like sparred before so they know each other's style and um, you know they know each other's uh, movement around the ring they know what to do to each other they know each other's weaknesses and stuff like that however in a, sparring is not a real fight okay power is just you try to prepare yourself and also like work on your weakness you know what i mean so part of those things that happens kiss the fish for all is to box 
and maybe counter and key is to uh victory for david layer is to show no mercy basically go to the body go like punch for worldly everywhere like basically not no of course not on his balls or so but everywhere everywhere that is legal because very well, I don't think very well is, is that good to the body. He's not good in taking the body. Pump. But after what David Alea did to very well in terms of cutting him up at the press conference, he he has to beat uh, Fabio Wardley. If he doesn't beat Fabio Wardley, that would be that would be uh, that would be very that would be like that would, that would, that would look too good. Okay, it has to be for But can he do that? That's a question in, uh, that we have answer for on that day. So, I think it's, as I look at October 28th is a day for the fight. And I'm looking forward to all these fights. Because believe you me, all those guys, both of these guys, they have something like their styles are exciting. Wardley is a pure boxer. Okay, like he, he is technically more sound than Adelaide. Adelaide is still learning, but his power is scary. And if Adelaide can master his style, if he can get a better trainer, believe you me, he he has the potential. Adelaide has the potential to be the next Mike Tyson. Statue, style, load. Like, I mean, I see, I, anytime I look at Adelaide, I see a pick a boost style, pick a boost style. You know what I mean? I feel he should implement it in this game, but maybe he doesn't want to do that. But we'll see what happens. I think it needs a solid trainer. I don't know who his current trainer is, but in a lot of his fighters I've seen, Adelaide needs to improve. He knows that his defense needs to improve. Fabio Wally on the other hand also have defensive problems, but I saw some improvements. Okay. So those things you look at and say, man, this fight is a great fight. I can't wait for this fight, bro. Like you subscribe and God bless you for the support of the channel. So on your guy in your guys' opinion, who do you see who do you see winning this fight? Who do you think will win this fight? Give us below like video share and subscribe. God bless you. So busy. Cheers. Thank you.